I know I'm not the only, only one who's wondering where the month of January has gone to. In fact, here we are in the middle, literally, the middle of February. Christmas is in our rearview mirror, pretty far behind. Super Bowl is over, although it won't be long, I suspect, before we get info, infomercials uh, and reminders about Christmas shopping. And then the Hallmark Channel, it's Christmas all year round. But it's never too late, never too late to pray blessings upon uh, a new year, to pray blessings upon this, this gift of time. There's that marvelous blessing, the priestly blessing of, of Aaron. And it comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 6. But let me frame it first. It's God's people, the Israelites, they have just been set free from, from slavery in Egypt but they have a long road ahead of them. They have 40 years of, of wandering, 40 years of tempting and, and, and tests ahead of them. So God knows they need a blessing when, as they start out. So God talks to Moses and tells Moses to talk to Aaron, his brother, who is like the first high priest. Give a blessing over the people. Here's what it says from that chapter, chapter 6, Book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Powerful blessing uh, again upon this fairly new year. I've already been on the receiving end of so many blessings. I got to be a priest, and I know that sounds funny, but as a bishop, uh, uh, overloaded sometimes with administration and, and meetings, I, I don't get out of the office as often as I used to. But I was invited by a wonderful parishioner in one of our local parishes uh, in the city of Fresno to go and visit a friend of hers who's uh, turning 100 years of age. And would I go, go on her birthday and, and give her a blessing? I said, of course. So I showed up, finally found uh, this uh, this uh, condominium and a w wonderful place, but just hard, hard to find the particular one. Knock on the door, expecting to enter into this wonderful big 100th birthday party. I heard one still voice say, uh, come in, and it was the birthday girl, 100 years old. This is her birthday. and. She was surprised. <laughs> she didn't know I was coming. Her friend didn't tell her. She wanted, wanted it to be a surprise for, for our birthday celebrant. But what a delightful surprise for me, too, because I just got to sit down and, and hear the story of her life and found out, coincidentally, not. Her name is Angel. So blessed by an angel on that day getting to be a priest, listening to her story. She asked to go to confession. That was lovely, got to be a priest again. I brought communion just in case. I got to give her the Eucharist. and It reminded me of uh, one of our most solemn feasts very early in the year, February the 2nd, Feast of the Presentation. And it's a feast of elders, a feast that, that teaches us that the elders among us have so much to teach and so much to share that they ought not to be uh, easily dismissed dis or discounted. And as I hear the story of her life, I'm, I'm just feeling nothing but uh, blessings. And I'm reminded of Simeon, who was promised that he wouldn't see death before he saw the Savior, the Lord. And, and he goes to the temple, prompted by the Spirit. It was, we celebrate on that Feast of the Presentation. And they, he's seen thousands of babies come to the temple, passing through. He's seen them come and seen them go. He goes to the temple now, prompted by the Spirit. He sees Jesus. He sees his mother. He sees St. Joseph. And he just knows. He just knows. This is the one. He takes him in his arms and says, Now, Lord, you can dismiss your servant in peace. You, you've fulfilled your promise, Lord. I, I've seen the Savior. What a blessing. What good news. And then later in that same gospel, Anna, a prophetess, an old woman, a uh, 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 a church woman, you know, like we have in our own day and age, in the temple, in the church, day after day after day. And she knows that there's something extraordinary about this child. So at the beginning of this year, as we ask blessings upon 
all of us, we ask God to give us a spirit of gratitude for the elders in our lives and, and the elders in our church who have so much to share and so much to teach. So, God bless you and all of those you love, always and in every way. Thank you.